Hi Pisces, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. My twin sister and I are twin oracles here on YouTube. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for checking us out. Thank you for liking this video, sharing, subscribing to Twin Oracles, and thank you for hitting that notification bell as well. Pisces, how is life treating you? We hope you are doing well. We are here to do your June reading. Although it says June, our intention is that it is a timeless reading, meaning whenever this video finds you, whether you watch it today, tomorrow, a year from now, have faith and trust that when it finds you, that's when it will most resonate with you. Pisces, it will be a general reading as well. So please do accept, welcome, and embrace the messages that do resonate with you and leave behind the messages that do not. And if you hear me say he, she, him, her, it, they, etc., please reverse the roles if and wherever need be. Let's hop on into your reading. Today we will be working with these beautiful decks by Chris Lee. We have the Sanctus Concordia Tarot deck, the Terrestrial Fauna Oracle deck. We also have some great deck reviews coming up for you. Same creator, Christopher Lee. He has created the Divinity or the Divina Serenity Oracle deck, Tarot Gals, and the Fantasy Feline, both in a smaller version and in a larger version with writing as well. So feel free to check that out. We will be doing video. Um, unboxings of all of these decks as well if you're interested in them and you can also purchase the guides to go with them so this i can't wait to get into the fantasy feline tarot deck it looks so cute all right i'm so excited sorry i'm just very excited can't wait to hop on in all right, let us get into your energies, Pisces, and see what is going on with you. See how your energy reads today, shall we? Let us take a minute, and also, um, please stick around, stay tuned to the very end. We will be using our lucky coin here. So I would like you to think of a question, a yes or no question, and we will pull an answer for you with this coin at the very end of the video. So stay tuned for that. All right. Dear God, Source, Spirit, Universe, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with us today. Thank you for all of our blessings, big and small. We're grateful for them all. We thank you for the food in our tummies, the clothing on our backs, our loved ones within our lives. Help us to be more aware, more in tune, and more alert of the messages, synchronicities, signs, and blessings that you provide us with daily. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, what is going on with Pisces? Pisces. All right, so you start the reading by the temperance, with temperance. Some of you could be going through something, um, but it's, it's here to help you. Whatever it is you're going through, it could be a challenge, it could be a conflict, it could be an argument. Um, it could be conflicting energies or people that you feel are against you. Um, there's something here where you're being transmuted, transformed, shaped into um, a different person, a different being um, to help elevate you and to grow your spirit. So the key here is to know that you are protected. You are divinely protected and divinely guided. Okay. Um, and Whatever it is that you're going through here, it's transforming you, changing you into something different, into someone different, okay? In a good way, okay? This isn't anything to be fearful of. Um, it's like, I, I'm kind of picking up on a tower moment here also. The tower didn't come out, but I'm just feeling that energy. It's like things are being removed from your life, um, things that no longer serve you, people that no longer serve you. There's like a shakeup going on in your life here. Um, and this is to help you 
to benefit you, to serve you, to grow you. Um, it's not to uh, be against you or harm you in any way, shape, or form here. You are being asked to have patience, okay, to have patience in this situation um, and to know that you are guided. This is all happening for you. God is assisting here. There's some kind of spiritual um, up-leveling here I'm picking up here for you. Also, this card can represent divine timing as well. Okay, so make sure you're patient. Um, have faith and trust that whatever it is that you are going through, this is to help you. All right, so next you have the Hermit. Interesting, you have two major arcanas here. So you're going through something profound here. Something profound, Pisces, you're going through. Um, you know, it's not something to be taken lightly here. You could have been, or it could be, um, going through the last number of years of your life. It could be um, 14 years, 9 years, 19 years, 18 years, 25 years. There's, there's something that you're processing here. You're unpacking um, and releasing past experiences from within this lifetime. Others of you are also going back into past lives and getting information there and healing those lives as well. Um, so you can help heal this lifetime right here. So yes, healing is coming through here. There is a deep spiritual cleansing here and a deep spiritual healing, okay? It's like you're going through a period of time where you don't want to be around anyone, um, you don't want to kind of hear anyone, you don't want to talk to anyone, you're just kind of doing you and you're um, trying to capture and gain that internal wisdom, that internal knowledge, um, guidance within you. It kind of feels like this came out of nowhere, it's like all of a sudden you were just, I can't deal with this or I can't deal with that or I can't deal with being around people or I can't deal with you know going out on a day-to-day -day basis or some kind of shift some kind of change okay isn't that interesting so I said I felt the tower but the tower moment or the tower was not appearing but here it is you have another major arcana Pisces the tower to say the least the tower is divine intervention okay this is a shake up um this is your world kind of feel like it's crashing down and in some ways it might feel that way it doesn't have to be okay it doesn't have to be but in some ways it feels like your life is falling apart or it's crashing down again this isn't anything to scare you this isn't anything um to it's, it's nothing, I don't want to say it's, it's like, it's not a bad thing. It's not negative. This is, you know, a clearing out, a cleaning up, okay, and up leveling. So, you know, when you have a home, let's say you've been in that home for 10, 12, 15 years, and you've really, really settled there, and you just kept packing things away, things that you didn't even need, things that didn't even serve you, you just kept packing them away into corners and closets and shelves and just kept piling up and piling up, right? Um, this is that moment in time where, you know, everything is coming out of the closets here, out of the sh corners, out of the shelves, everything is coming up and out. Um, and during that time when you're pulling everything out of closets and drawers, it looks like chaos. When you look around, you, you can't even move, right? There's no place to walk. There's no place to move. You, you can't even see what's going on. You can't even focus or think because there's just so much stuff everywhere, right? That's not a comfortable feeling. And it feels like, it feels chaotic, right? But once you release and let go of the things that don't serve you, and once you remove that clutter, you feel like 100 pounds has been dropped from your weight, dropped from your life. Um, you know, your whole home feels light. Your aura feels light. All of you just feels totally different and transformed. So was it an easy task? No, probably not. Um, you're probably gonna have a lot of emotions go through you when you're picking up items and looking at things you know to check to see if they serve you or not emotions are going to come up memories are going to come up some good some bad some easy some sad right um some nostalgic memories 
maybe not all of them, right? So it's not easy, but it is required. It is required to get you to the next level, right? Because what if down the road, you're like unbeknownst to you and you might be oblivious to this, but perhaps down the road, what if you're being asked to move, right? And if you have to move and you have to bring all of that stuff with you before the cleaning, um, that's quite the task, right? It's a, it's an even heavier task, an even more daunting task, right? So this is definitely required. And at the end of this tower moment, Pisces, um, you're going to be better than before. Life is going to be better than before. Okay. You're going to see that light at the end of the tunnel here. Um, you're really going deep here. There could have been something that happened to you, Pisces. So some kind of spiritual awakening, some kind of catalytic moment. Um, for some of you, it could have been, um, you know, a separation, a breakup, a divorce. Others of you, you could have possibly lost your job. Um, others of you, maybe you lost your home. Um, others of you, you've lost like friends along the way. You've lost people that you've loved. Um, some of you, it could be that, you know, you're not feeling well with your health. Um, others of you, maybe you were diagnosed with something and you're wanting to improve your health, right? There's something here that has changed your life as you know it, okay? It kind of uprooted you and shook your life up. It could have been something that was a long time in the making here. Wow, Pisces, come on, what is going on? Pisces. You have another major arcana, the hanged man. This is something, wow, like, th you're really going deep here. This is really forcing you to really go deep within here. Wow. Um, I, I, like, I didn't even know what to say. You have the hanged man with another major arcana? Really? Pisces, I've never done a reading like this before. You have, out of five cards, you have five major arcana. This is life altering, life shifting, um, a spiritual awakening of some sort, divine intervention. This is an uprooting and up leveling. I heard an uproaring. Um, this is you going deep within, internalizing, figuring things out from the inside in order to know what changes to make on the outside. You could be signing contracts here. You have the justice card. The justice card can represent um, legal matters. It can represent a divorce, a separation. For some, it can represent a marriage. Okay. Um, isn't this beautiful? So beautiful. Lady Justice. Oh, wow. There's definitely a pause. There's definitely something that you're waiting for. Um, it could be something that you're waiting for, but it can also be you're putting your life on pause yourself. Because you're like, whoa, something's not working. Something's not right. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know how to make things right. Something's not like... Yeah. It's like it feels like things aren't working for you, things aren't moving for you. And so you're taking this time out to recollect, to rest, rejuvenate, relax, to hear those messages. You're taking a time out um, to, re to rejuvenate, to... gather yourself. It feels like your energy has been um, split, right? Like you, your energy was here and here and here and here, a little bit everywhere. Um, and maybe for some of you, you've lost parts and bits and pieces of yourself along the way. And here you are, you're trying to make heads of tails of a situation. You're trying to figure things out. 
perhaps for some of you, your life was off balanced, off kilter, and that's why this shakeup came about, okay? Um, now you're coming back into balance, moderation. That's what this temperance could have been alluding to as well and referring to the notion of, you know, things being off balance, things aren't um, harmonized, right? So it's like changing you from one into another, right? Remember when I was saying that um, you're being changed, transformed, transmuted, okay, into something else? It's like perhaps areas or parts of, of your life were off balance, off kilter, like too much one way and not enough the other way. And there wasn't any moderation. I'm hearing the word moderation. And now you're you're wanting that moderation. You're you know longing for that moderation, and you're trying to go within to um, you know remove things from your life that don't serve you, and hold on to the things that do serve you that will bring balance to you. This is a really big shakeup, Pisces. It really is. I mean, nothing you can't handle, but. At times, it might be feeling uncomfortable. But you've got it, though, because there are times where you're feeling very peaceful as well. All right. So you have the Four of Pentacles. Interesting, Capricorn got this as their last card as well. So some of you could be dealing with Capricorn or you're on the cusp of Capricorn... Oh, no, actually, Aquarius is before you. Yeah, so some of you could be dealing with um, a Capricorn or you have Capricorn in your chart here. I feel like you're bringing everything back to basics. You know, you're pulling back, you're pulling your energy back and you're just lightening the load in so many different areas and in so many different ways. And you're just bringing your life back to basics, the simple things, right? The simple... The simple life, simple basic needs, and everything is coming back to moderation. Everything is coming back to balance. You know, not having more than enough, but having enough. Just enough, just what you need. Now, with this justice here in the Four of Pentacles, some of you, maybe one or two of you, not many of you, could be going through a divorce where there's, you know, money loss or dividing the money up or, you know, figuring things out financially here. There could be one person that's wanting to hold on and hold back from the other person. So that's just for one or two of you. It's um, a small amount of you. One or two of you. That was a very specific message. For some of you, you've gone through hardship um there could have been a betrayal there could be a backstabbing there could have been words spoken um you know harsh words spoken there could have been arguing fighting conflicts something of the sort here so for some of you it hasn't been easy especially if you're going through this legal matter here there has been conflicts there has been arguments back and forth bantering um you know trying to to figure out a solution here Let's pull a card for you from the Trustreal Fauna Oracle deck. All right. What do we have going on? Pisces, you got this. Whatever it is, you're very, very keen. You're intelligent. You're brilliant. You're on the ball. You're on top of things. You're adventurous. You know, you've got this. And you do want this more than anything. Oh, so cute. Koala. So for some of you, you've been trying to fit in, um, you know, or make, you've been trying to fit in or you've been trying to make something fit. Okay. You're trying to put like a round peg in a square, right? And it's like, that's not working for you anymore. Um, you know, you're not being asked to fit in. You're being asked to stand out. You're being asked to stand out. Oh, isn't it so cute? I love Chris Lee's designs and artwork. So cute. Like, I can't even just put it down. Um, 
Right, so you have at hand, like it's for some of you, it's been a number of years. It's been many years where things haven't been working and you know, you've know you been um, letting the days pass, trying to cope with it, trying to deal with it, trying to accept it. But now with this tower, there's a shakeup. Now there's an undeniable truth that is revealed here um, or exposed. And it's no longer, you know, the day as usual, right? Now it's like there's a choice that needs to be made. There's um, challenges. There's um, a better decision that needs to be made here. And it's always easier. When you see the tower moment, there's two choices, right? Because for a number of years... For some of you, it could be many years where this hasn't been working, but you've been, you know, kind of like, it hasn't been working, but you've just been sticking around. God will only allow that for so long. God will show signs and show synchronicities and show signs and give you messages. But there will come a point in time in order for your spiritual growth and spiritual evolution where if you don't choose with your own two hands to change the situation and to end the situation, to go through that spiritual awakening here with the hermit, then what happens is God just kind of forces it upon you, right? Um, but again, you know, not without many years of, you know, showing you there's a better way, there's a better way, there's a better way, right? There's a better path, there's a better path. So always easier to choose to make your own tower moment rather than allowing the universe to present the tower moment in front of you. So for example, um, let's say there's a job and you go to this job day in and day out and day in and day out and you're feeling that this job isn't for you. And then what happens is when you start going to this job day in and day out, things start happening. So for example, um, you know, you left work one day and you noticed that there was a dent on your car. Someone had scratched your car or, you know, like drove into your car, some kind of, you know, situation like that. But, you know, again, time passes day in and day out, day in and day out, you're going to work and then something happens at work right? At work, there's a situation and you're realizing, well, that didn't feel comfortable to me. You know, that happening at work made me uncomfortable. You know, should I still be here? Should I still stick around? And you choose to stick around and stay around and then something else happens, right? So that's what I'm referring to when I'm talking about a tower moment. It's like God gives you signs, synchronicities, and messages along the way when something or someone or a place or a situation is no longer meant for you. And it's up to us to choose to you know, up better the situation and, and, you know, to move away from the situation, accept the situation as it is and choose something better for yourself or not, right? Or to keep holding on here. Um, either way, I'm going to repeat, you're very divinely spiritually protected. You're divinely guided. This is all happening for you. It's not helping again. It's not going against you. It's not harming you. This is all for lessons to be learned and for your soul to grow and to evolve. So again, at the end of this all, when all is said and done, your life will be better than before. It will take time. It will take time. Um, and it's on God's timing, divine timing, okay? But you will be better than before once this is all said and done. All right, so again, we have the koala. Some of you may be going to Australia or have longed to go to Australia or are Australian or have met someone from Australia. Okay, so you have koala. So cute. The koala embodies gentleness, connection, and resilience. It encourages you to pause. And you're doing a lot of pausing, okay? Um, that's clear. So it encourages you to pause, find solace and simplicity, right? Bringing life back to basics. And take comfort in the company of loved ones. Embrace the koala's calm demeanor, reminding you to prioritize self-care and infuse your hectic life with moments of peace. 
Observe the koala's knack for adjusting to different surroundings, teaching you to be adaptable and resilient when faced with challenges. Within you lies the capacity to navigate life's highs and lows with elegance and composure. The koala's endearing qualities serve as a reminder to cherish relationships that bring joy and warmth into your life. Embrace the potency of love, kindness, and support, cultivating profound connection with those who matter. Notice the koala's distinct view from the treetops, symbolizing the significance of broadening your perspective on life's situations. It prompts you to transcend the ordinary and seek clarity, empowering you to make informed choices and embrace new opportunities. Remember that the koala directly addresses you, encourages you encouraging you to discover solace, prioritize self-care, and nurture significant connections. It teaches you resilience, adapting to change and embracing the higher viewpoint. Allow the presence of the koala to steer you toward a life of tranquility, love, and inner fortitude. So that's what you are after here, as I mentioned earlier. You are after that peace. You're after that calm. You're after that balance, right? Not having too much. You're after having just what's enough, just what's right. Um, and you know, for some of you, it could be that you're, let's say you're trying, you're in a relationship here and you could be, you know, working things out between you and the other person here. So it could be you that's going deep or it could be the other person that's going deep. There's someone that's pulling back here um, and they're pulling back so that um, they can see a different perspective here with the hanged man, either you or the other person. Someone's trying to see things on the other side see the grass on the other side, trying to step into someone else's shoes um, to see their perspective, right? In order to bring peace, in order to bring balance and moderation. So you could very well be here working through something with someone, with someone that you love and someone that loves you. And you're working together, okay? You're working through it together and, you know, you're going deep to get that inner guidance, to get that inner solitude, to get messages, to get insights in order to bring peace and balance and moderation into this situation, whatever it might be. All right, Pisces, as mentioned, now we are going to go back to reflecting upon your question and whichever way this coin lands, that will be the answer, okay? Oh, the answer is no. The answer is no. So there you have it. And that is your reading for today, Pisces. You've got this. Um, you know, things will work out better than expected. Things will work out. Just know that, okay? Things will come into balance. Things will work out for you and for the people involved here. Um, peace and harmony, balance is coming in. And, you know... I'm seeing black, I'm seeing white, and I'm seeing it come together and blending into this beautiful marble energy, right? This marble defect, light and dark. So there is a unification here happening, um, and it's happening through a transformation, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this reading, Pisces. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for sharing with all your loved ones and subscribing to Twin Oracles. It really helps us grow. So we thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Be sure to hit that notification bell. That way you don't lose our channel and you're advised of all of our upcoming uploads. Until the next time, we love you so much and all of our love for you goes to you, Pisces. Until the next time, bye for now.